Ladies and gentlemen, I'm no guy 21 welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time! We create our character, Grand Navarre, and escape the exploding ship that was the Endar Spire because it was being attacked by enemy forces. Luckily, we survived by getting into escape pod and dropping on the planet of Terrace, which is a cesspit of assholes that I do not want to do, but I'm forced to do so because the story tells me to. I hate Terrace. Mainly because it takes too fucking long to get done, it drags out, it wears out its welcome party. <sighs> oh well, I'll have to deal with it. Hopefully my recording uh, settings are a lot better. But I wouldn't put it past it because using a different software has some growing pains. I had to do some uh, hours of lab laborious, painful work in order to make the previous episode because the format that I used did not want to play with Vegas at all. Ugh. I wouldn't even be using XSplit if OBS actually kept everything in sync. Although I'm gonna have to test that more later. I'm gonna have to test that later on today to see if that truly is the case. Or if I can work a way around it. Ah well. Anyway, our objective is to rescue Bastila, a Jedi that can affect the morale of armies in the midst of battle. Kind of a shit ability to be honest, but apparently with the Republic so desperate to win against the Sith that they were relying on a single person with a single ability to win. It's kind of sad and pathetic if you think about it. Oh uh, well, let's see what's in here. Three med packs, two computer spikes, and unfortunately for me, the mouse is not shown in the goddamn window of my recording. Fantastic! Even though I have it set to show the goddamn mouse cursor. Whatever. Oh boy. Throughout the game, you will find weapons and armor that are marked as upgradable. These items can be improved by the addition of an upgrade item. With upgrade items, you can use this workbench to construct new, more powerful versions of upgradable ranged weapons, melee weapons, lightsabers, and armor. Unfortunately for us, we only have two things. Cars Blaster Pistol. Cars Pistol Blaster is based on an old Arcanian design, but it is adapted to incorporate all the latest modular technology available to the Republic. You think you would want to go with uh, technology available for the Sith, considering they're winning the war. And we don't have any blaster components, so it's kind of pointless. But we do have something for our prototype Vibro Blade, which is a vibration cell which increases our bonus physical damage by another point. The end game, pretty worthless, but at the start of the game, very useful to have just one extra point of damage. This is actually my second take, because the first take went to shit as soon as we exit the apartment complex. I'm hoping that what I did will actually fix that. So far I'm not noticing any stuttering or drops. Well, I say drops, I meant freezing. But the only way to test that for sure is to talk to Carf and head outside to trigger a cutscene. I also put the game into window mode by changing the any files, which I should never have to do, but I want to actually look at the goddamn exploit monitor to see if it tells me anything because my secondary monitor is no longer in use because I do not have a power strip or power backup power supply connected to my computer anymore because that thing was fried. First world problems, am I right? Yes, what's on your mind? Well, I'd like to know more about you, Garth. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years, seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Uh, calm down. I was just asking a question, Karth. You're the one who wanted to know more about me. Well, this is it. This is what I am. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it, it's just... Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I I didn't. Uh, them? Do you mean the people of your homeworld, Garth? Yeah, no, I. That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. 
at all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Oh, we're gonna be doing that a lot, Carve. Trust me, trust me. This is a Bioware game. Talking to your companions is mandatory half the goddamn time. When you're actually able to talk to your companions in a Bioware game. Oh, oh God, my back. And my neck. Well, so far so good. Although, I don't know why the raw footage from what I was testing came up uh, pixelated. I don't know why that happens. But it looks just fine on both in the game and on the OBS, not OBS, on the X, what's, whatever. Technical difficulties I'll have to figure out as I go. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party members you wish to take. Since this is the first time you're leaving, you will have to take Garth. It's not like we don't have a choice, he's the only party member we have. I mean, we could go solo if we want to kill ourselves, but we're not going to do that. Takarv is a level 4 soldier! Nice. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! How do you automatically assume that we're fugitives here? They could just be dirt poor mercenaries who need a place to stay. Okay, you xenophobic asshole. You want some? Have a grenade! I like how the alien languages in Star Wars are essentially here's a paragraph of random gibberish. We'll just repeat the lines at nauseum to make a language. Oh boy. Uh, won't someone come looking for this patrol? Jawana bota ayu ata honga cha kanki dora kachi kui ta hodonga topa da bung wali agando do na do chut chut muksha pa pung pa bola wana chikne ba muli slemo po da wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes uba batu kochi tong nong bong chang nung yang tong hotok smak delia. It's not like you know forensics technology doesn't exist in the Star Wars universe. Whatever. We gained another level! Hooray! I'm not holding myself back. Skill points, um... Let's just get that to five and start putting points into awareness until later. Another feat. Hmm, do I want to go... What do I want to do? Improve my saving throws? Yes, I actually want improved saving throws. Simply because of the fact is that uh, later on in the game, when we start fighting against actual hard opponents, meaning Dark Jedi, there are some Force abilities that uh, are really fucking annoying to deal with. And we'll take this blaster rifle, a frag grenade, a poison grenade, and these adrenal strengths and staminas. I'll be taking those. Yeah, there are certain Dark Force powers that the Sith can use, and Jedi can use for some reason. That require a very good saving throw or outright immunity to avoid the effect. And since I'm not going to be able to get those immunities real easily, you know what I'm talking about. Damn it, I did not mean to click on the fucking door. What the hell? I don't know why we decided to exit the window. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh boy, I wish I had a better computer. Anyway. Ready! God! I want you to start lock picking things. Because for some it's reason. Open. You have access to a security skill. Wrong window. This one. 
Your pure use is garbage. Your awareness is okay. For some reason, you have a rank in persuasion, even though you don't can't use it. A couple points of repair, security, and treat injury. I don't know why you have access to security. And as you may notice, Carf is very light side oriented in alignment. We're neutral, with a slight smidge to the light side because of the uh, blue glow on the bottom. Oh boy. Classic Bioware alignment system. You're either good or evil, and there's no in-between whatsoever. It's not like the real world's a gigantic shade of gray. Nothing over here. Ah, Quarren. Squid face. Wish I could kill him, because I don't like his words. Sure. Ready. On it. It's open. An Athorian. Let's not well, talk huh? to you, Thorian. What? Oh, boy. Let's just take his stuff, because no one gives a shit. That's the exit to the upper city. And we'll loop back around to our room over there. What? Excellent. On it. Let's open up this door. It's open. Yes? Twi'lek. You get this off. Taking your med pack, your parts, and your credits. Beep beep boop bop. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chu chut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto tun. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. I didn't hear anything that sounded like Larum in that language. And how the fuck did the hair get inside my coffee? It's like, oh, pleased to meet you. I'm not telling you shit. Real diverse options here, guys. Oh, pleased to meet you, Larum. My name is Rain Nava. Runda di hotonga kun honka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek? I wish his head bobbing a Thorium would just piss off. <laughs> Get out of here, you worthless sack of shit. So, what's so great about these energy shields you're peddling? Chi gratu loda bograshi onion kumba chin tondo mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kachatu tong. Bagrasha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha, chopa, chawachwish, yunku. Jodo jid bungarantang. Takum just tak miki, grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank, waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogisha punga, bola wana chikne. Pamule slimo, podadada nanga kumbis. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. So where does technology come from? Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yuma lita kuto tun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Ta kung justak miki grabble moko. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank. Waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogisha punga bola wana chikne. Pa mule slimo podadada nanga kumbis mulera best. Chi gratu loda pograshi onion kumba chin tondo mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kachatu tong. Bagrasha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha chopa chawachwish yunku. Jodo jid bungarantang. Tolpa da bongwale kandu nangu chuchut. Kavadum ku pilio botenya. Bonanai kuchu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. And yet, by the time the movies roll, the time that the movies come about, energy shields for personal use don't exist. I wonder why. 
Anything else? Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Bona kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatukune mule rabes. Tong abog sha umninong. Wanga kun bez keng palemuraya. Chuni yun tun chichi ida duana. Kava volpa mulje kumana. So, why do you have a kiosk set up here? We eat a non dieta. What a yuma wama huhu nandetik. Ah, shatung ni patoga. Wano kuzbe ching palamule tonke. Alright, so let's see what you have for sale. Achuta. Wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana. Tong patugas maktelea. And since our character doesn't have a voice selector, I'm allowed to do whatever voice I want. So I'm just going to use my own. Let's see, first off, we got uh, several suits of armor, a military suit, a heavy combat suit, a combat suit, and light battle armor. Let's see, I have a dexterity bonus of two, so ideally I want to buy the light battle armor. Let's see, let's see, stealth dab, sound dabbing, stealth unit, stealth field generator. If I was a rogue, well, scoundrel, and was skilled in stealth, I would buy this, because that allows you to turn invisible. How much for an energy shield? 154 credits. Ugh. Well, let's first off, let's sell off all these clothes that are useless to us anyway. Hmm. The long sword does more damage, but uh, the vibro blades have a better crit chance. Let's sell one vibro blade, one short sword. Let's sell the basic ass blaster pistols. And sell a blaster rifle. No, yeah, because we're gonna get more later. Keep the ion blaster. And buy ourselves a suit of light combat armor. This item costs more than 150 credits. Do you still wish to buy? Yes. Stun baton. On hit. 25% chance for a 6 second stun with a DC of a 10. You know, for all the D&D &D components, you think having a window telling you the rules would be a good thing. Nope. That's all done under the hood. So let's get out of this basic ass combat suit that we can't use the full, take the full advantage of because we do not have the highest the high dexterity required to make a full advantage of it. If our dexterity bonus was a five, we have a we have a total of a nine def AC. It's called defense, but good called AC because it's basically Dungeons and Dragons. Let's see. If, let's see. We have none. Our armor class is a twelve. This is a sixteen. This is a nineteen. Growing solid protection for a minimal cost, this armor is excellent for entrenched troops or guards. A force on the move, however, may find it somewhat constricting. Doesn't matter. Less chance to die in combat, please. Let's... actually, let me think about this. Hmm... The defense bonus must only come into effect during combat because... If that was true, the AC should be fucking 21. Right? Because the base is 12, plus 7 is 19. Unless this is. Unless the max dexterity bonus is. Yeah. Unless the max dexterity bonus is included in this number, in which case I'm kind of confused. Uh, j j just forget about it, forget about it, forget about it! Ah, Carp's just wearing basic clothing. You can't have that. Here, have a combat suit. You gain more use out of it than I will. Because you actually have 16 dexterity, whereas we have 14. Now, if you had a 20 dexterity Carth, you could gain the full benefit of that suit. And hey, now we look like proper mercenaries instead of Republic fugitives. Carth. Wandering around in a Sith controlled area wearing a Republic badge of honor on your back. That's not smart at all, Cars. That's not smart at all. On it. 
It's open. Ah, Dia. Yes? We're going to ignore you, because you can become involved in a quest line that we're going to get. Okay. Cart, I need to check your feet, because... Let's see. What do you have? You have... Ah, you have two weapon fighting. And specializing in blaster pistols. Which means you do wielding blasters is actually a very good thing. But, let me check something here. 1d8 plus 7. 4 to 9. Yeah, okay. Actually, just in case we run into any droids or bastards wearing energy shields... We're going to, uh, have him use the ion blaster in his offhand. It's not much damage as a normal blaster pistol, but still, but still comparable. Plus, I like the model. Ah, <sighs> boy. Sure. Okay, let's head into the upper city. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go refill my coffee. Okay, and I'm back. Got my coffee, I let the dogs out, although that's probably going to be a mistake. Because the neighbor has decided to sell her house. And has been having a non-stop yard sale for the past three to four days. Whew! And let me tell you. When you live in a place that doesn't get a lot of noise from neighbors, cars, people in general... That when something does get in within a certain distance, the barks start going loud. Anyway, let's head to the upper city south. What a lovely city. Looks similar to Coruscant, only more oval. Well, I think this is our escape pod. Lucky for us, we land over here. And look at this sorry excuse for a protocol droid. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a protocol droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? Well... Is there some way I can get, off, get a shuttle off this planet? I am afraid that is impossible. Taurus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? Uh, yeah. Do you know anything about the gangs in the lower city? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? No, you, I don't need anything right now. You can leave. Then if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Yes, your appointed rounds are walking back and forth looking like a dumbass. Oh, boy. Well, this is a nice little anti-gravity zone of the sculpture. Oh, well. We got Sif walking around, we got civilians, we got dro vertical droids, we got cars flying in the city with skylines. Is... Uh, is that thing supposed to be flying like that, or have I just never noticed before? Okay, I'll just ignore it, I guess. Let's see, we are in the Upper City South District. At least the Equipment Emporium, I'm gonna need to s yeah. expand the map. We got some bounty hunters harassing an old man. Think? Okay, bullied merchant. Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? Who's that guy, please? He, I'm fine, will be the new 
No! Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. I'll be right back. Looks like I was right. <sighs> Yard sale shenanigans. Awesome. Of course, I'm not sure whether it is them picking stuff, cleaning it up, fishing it, or selling it out. Whew. We need to go to the gym. We can just walk up 20 steps. Jesus Christ. You know, for the typical coffee brand that we buy and the percolator I've been using, I've noticed that if I let it cool down, it gets a more chocolate taste to it. I bet if I uh, have some cream or something better than 2% milk and with enough sugar, I could actually make it taste like chocolate. Well, it's milk chocolate. The way I have it right now, it tastes like a very weak, uh, it tastes very weak when it comes to chocolate. Anyway, how to deal with these mercenaries. You know what? I don't like your attitude. I better teach you a lesson. To run and run. Yeah, smart. Get your melee combat with me. Smart plan while you have a blast. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Well, maybe I could help you out, old man. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. Well, sh shut. Well, I'm just glad I could help then. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. The, pr the funny thing is... That these fuckers have the credits we need just to pay the old man. <laughs> the fuck? You couldn't let me loot the corpses first to get an extra hundred credits to pay the old man his, uh, so he get off his loan? Whatever. And you think, uh, reasonable underground crime 
kingpins would be understanding and like, okay, just pay me what you have. Not be all uh, enforcer-like and sending people to collect. Like a loan shark. Anyway, here we have a medical facility. Let's see what we got. We got a medical droid. We got good old Zelka Thorn and Gurney. Let's talk to Zelka. Oh, shit. For some reason, the game decided to click outside my window. I don't know why my computer does that. And I accidentally full screen the game. Great! <sighs> it's Tuesday, not fucking Monday where the shit is typical. Well, since we're here... Wait a minute, Alt Enter doesn't do anything, does it? Well, apparently, that one causes the game to minimize. That's odd. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, let's talk to Zelka. Move, let's move on. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terras. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Rat ghoul disease? What's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terras for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rat Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. So, is there no cure for this disease? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. Well, maybe I can find my way to get my hands on that serum for you, Doc. I don't see how anyone can get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Oh, don't worry, Zilka. I'll get that serum for you. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Nope, I'll just be going now. Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Or I could just teleport back to the hideout and not to worry about it. You moved from your desk, good sir. You probably want something out of me. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rat Gold Serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. I'm not interested. Oh, don't be an idiot. Just listen to me for one minute, and you won't be sorry. David Kang wants the cure, and you'd be smart to give it to him. Really? David Kang? Who's that? Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. So, why does Davik want the cure so badly? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka. Practically give it away. I'll keep your offer in mind. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? 
If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Yeah, don't worry, Carp. We're not actually going to do that. That'd be stupid. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Ay, ay, ay. It's not one thing, it's another. Turns out what I thought was a noise was actually just squirrels scuttering around the walls. Right. Actually, here's a question. Does this game have... It does! It does have quick save buttons. Excellent. Oh wait, there is a key key on the keyboard that has pause on it. There actually is a pause button. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Okay, so F4 and F5, huh? F4? Alright! Here's something that didn't fuck up X split, because what I'm about to do is I'm gonna fix this window situation, so I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back to our regularly scheduled program of having a windowed mode. Oh boy, okay, here's hoping that this doesn't fuck everything else up. Okay. Come on, man. Let's see, that leads to the upper city more. But before we head there, let's go check out this equipment emporium real fast. I can't wait until I get upgrade to my speed. Let's see that. Let's see. An emporium. Here we have Kebla shop. Okay, Kebla Yurt, let's see what you got. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Well, let's see what you have for sale. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Really? Well, you sell Bonadan Alley Heavy Suit. For some reason, that's light armor. <laughs> Shiny Ritual Band, Double Bladed Swords. Pfft. Throw that shit in the trash. A Sith Sniper Rifle. What? Despite its effectiveness, these modified blaster rifles are not often employed by the Sith. They prefer to engage their enemies up close and personal. Well, let's see. Compared to a regular blaster rifle, it has a better damage. Same crit, but it has a plus one on its attack modifier. Permacrete detonator. I have no idea what the fuck this is used for. I think it's for a quest of some kind, but I don't know what for- I don't know if it's actually in the game, because I never actually found the quest to use this damn thing. Even though I keep buying it every single time I come here. Uh, I'll take care of this later. Well, she won't have a discount for us, she will have a discount for the Sith, and we're gonna fix that real fast. Well, I say real fast, it's gonna happen. So we got- we got a cantina! Do I explore the cantina right now? Yeah, why not? Oh, what a nice place. Let's see, we got a bunch of people here. We got some dancers. Oh, what a classy establishment. Ah, oh, the dueling arena. I don't want to do this right now. I want to actually spend most of an ep most of an episode doing this. So I'm gonna leave this for now. 
actually. I'll come back here later. Do, 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 do. I actually want to get a bit more stronger because the upper echelons of the dueling arena are actually kind of tough. Something seems to be bothering Carp. Maybe we should speak to him and see if she can get him to open up about it. Yeah, sure, why not? Yes, what's on your mind? Hey, uh, Carp, is this a good time to ask you some more questions? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Well, now if you have a problem with it. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. Well, this isn't an interrogation. I never said it was. No, I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Well, like you said when we first met, Basil didn't have the time to use her powers, apparently. True. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Bullshit! Mm -hmm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Well, I'm just a soldier. I'm sure there isn't anything unusual about that, is there? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. So what's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Basilis' party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I can tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, you know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Well, Karth, you aren't wrong, actually. <laughs> His intuition is actually spot on when it comes to this stuff. So, what do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Are you always this su suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with me personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Uh, yes, let's do that then. Good. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk anyway. You got it, Carf. Although I will be grilling you later. Because the game will actually tell you <laughs> about it. It's okay, this person looks like they need to talk about something. Would you like to do so now or later? When we're in the middle of a fight or something, uh, where there's no actual time to actually have a proper discussion. Okay, well that's it for the south portion of the upper sea. Let's head to the north side. I only have like six, five and a half minutes remaining on my timer anyway. Oh, we what have we got here? Some swoop bikes? And these speeder bikes. I want to say they're speeder bikes, because soup bikes uh, look a little different in this game. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope I don't get a soup bike glitch where it doesn't work. Shit. I didn't think about that. Oh, boy! You're hoping it actually works correctly, otherwise I am fucked! My CPU uses detecting, maybe experiencing performance issues. Yeah, I noticed while we were talking to Karf. Thanks, x -Split. Your message was a little late there, buddy. What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Shlami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lar Sezu belong, Shlami? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Uh, 
Oh boy, drunk's great. <sighs> if you're trying to pick a fight, you stupid drunks, you got one. Hey, this schlemmy's got a mouth. Oh great, we're fighting the drunks, are we? And do they stink? You talk big, schlemmy. Maybe you should show us a little more respect. Time to teach you a lesson, schlemmy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up into our turf. I'm better dressed than you fuckers are! Yeah, gain dark side points! You fucking idiots, you're surrounded by Sith Troopers! As well! You dumbasses! Seriously, you're the ones who are dressed like you don't belong up here. Assholes! I... That's actually a, uh... Outcome I didn't actually know you could actually do. Because, like, when I've done this before, I always had a good persuasion skill, so I always did the persuasion option. Or I was wearing a certain, uh, shall we say, uh, outfit where they just left me alone. So, yeah, I didn't know you could actually kill them. <laughs> well, I think I did. I just forgot. Excuse me. Droid chops. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. The only good droid is T3M4. T3H8 is a worthless pile of dog shit. Don't talk to her at all. You'll get swindled out of your money. And Gorton Kolu is just a racist bigot who spouts bullshit. Listen to me, people. That is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late! Ah, but I just ignore you. The evil walks among us! The enemy is here! We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders! You know... The plague spreads to us. I think you'd be talking about the Sith and you'd be shot, but apparently not. Great. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Apparently. So, oh, so that's probably how. I'm using the left and right mouse buttons to, uh, to move. And when I scroll to the right, since this, wi since this game doesn't have a uh, locking feature around the window, the mouse comes off screen, right interacts with X splits, causing problems. Great. Well, I'll be going then. Move along then. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we wanna get past this guy. Hint, hint! You can wear a Sith uniform to get to the lower city. We just need to find one. That's why I've been ignoring all the uh, apartments and such. And down here is the Sith base itself. We could just charge in if we had the proper authorization codes, but we can't. It's gonna be the last area we're gonna be going to, so let's just get that get that map. Perfect. The Sith have starships. Why can't we just jack one of these and fly out? Because we need Bastila, and those star fires are only a person or two at best. Oh, what I wouldn't do for a for a fucking Z-95 headhunter ship. Listen to me, starship. people. That is a terrible Fuck scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning designed. before it is too late. I know. Let's take our wings and split them in half, creating an X. It looks fucking retarded. Oh, boy. Now, is the X-Wing a better Stark fighter than the uh, TIE Fighter? Absolutely! Yeah, because the TIE Fighter, while fast, is a low... lowly armored, shitly defend, poor navigation, no hyperdrive, no, um, life support. You're essentially dead! You're essentially a suicide bomber in a TIE Fighter. That doesn't do anything. If anything, you're a target. Oh, well, enough of my ranting about starships inside. I'm running out- I'm out of time! Great! Of course, this video is going to be shorter than what my, st than what my uh, clock says, because, well, 
Gonna have to cut out some parts. Well, it looks like I'm back to my normal schedule. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Dogat21. This has been Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Next time, we're going to do, uh... What are we going to do? There's two things we could do. We could do the arena, which will earn us some XP and some credits. Or we could search for a Sith uniform. We'll do, we'll search for a Sif uniform first. But until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.